Oh crap, I think they've uh, drawn way too much attention. Anyone know what happened to these people? I have no idea. I found the girl like this, uh, passed out in the street. Same thing happened to this young man, I suppose. He just fell to the ground a moment ago. Not sure what's wrong with him, though. Man, I think it's Eris and Kale. Come on, we have to help them. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, folks. Uh, these people are, uh, are our friends. Please move aside. Oh yeah, sure, be my guest. You have to wait. What are you? I know what he is. He's the beast who turned, uh, burned down Gorius. He's got to be. Hey, might be. It's true what they say, that the beast uh, took the shape of a man. Dark skin with burn scars all over. It must be him. Way too dangerous, that lot. Don't go near him. Stay away, folks. Leave. Then don't mind them. Just uh, let them be. This is going to take some adjusting, uh, adjusting to. Now don't worry about me. I'll get used to it. Look, Finn, people are afraid of the unknown. They don't know who you truly are. I've got far more important things to do than worry about them. Right. Now we must hurry. Give Eris the Mankadu, quick. Come on, Eris, please don't give up on me. Finn? Well, thank Lear. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please take your time, Eris. Uh, you've just started recovering. Don't worry, I feel much better now. Would you help me stand? Of course. Kale, feeling better now? Nothing could make me feel better than a pretty lady like you waking me up from my slumber. And here we were worrying about you. You sound like you're going to be fine. But still, all this while I'm walking alongside my twin. Kale, I know it's a lot to take in, but please. A lot to take in? You don't have a clue how I feel, Finn. Now, don't act like you do. None of you do. Kale. If Eris is the one who did it, then how could she still have the pure Arth to heal you back in the cave uh, and us back in Ostia? All this time, she's just been pretending to be an innocent girl, but the truth is far from it. Kale, watch your tongue. Before you pass judgment, talk to her first, please. You've coddled her since the very beginning, Finn. It's no wonder that you're still defending her, even when she's obviously guilty. We've been through so much together. We know each other. You can't possibly think that Eris would. Uh, I don't want to hear it, Finn. You don't know a darn thing about her. She's dirty. Kale, you're jumping to conclusions. I uh, then if she isn't the one who who uh then if she isn't the one, then who did it? Who brought me into this miserable world? Kale, even I have been asking my uh, asking that question myself. I still don't have the answers myself. Then prove it. Prove your innocence. I would never do such a thing, Kale. I'd never been to Phineas before uh, I met all of you, I swear. Just quit pretending that you're so innocent. I'm sick of it. Mr. Kale, please. I'm telling the truth. You can't be trusted. Perhaps I can show the past to you. Uh, what can you do to prove your innocence? I can try to help you see the past, Mr. Kale. Eris, you don't have to do this. Ben, please. We both need to know the truth. It will drain you too much. You should be resting. Shut the heck up, Finn. Uh, let her do it if that's what she wants. Uh, you know, you know what, what it will cost her, Kale. She'll start feeling weak again, and so will you. Then you better hope you've got enough Menkadu. You, uh, you can't treat her like that. It's not right. Stay out of it. This is between me and Eris. Finn, it's okay. We need to find out the truth. You know what I've been noticing? Oh, come on, Eris. Let's do this. Please, I uh, need to enter your mind. Just get on with it. You know what I've been noticing? Wait, be uh, wait before, uh, right before we go on the journey to a tree, we encounter some trust issues in the party. And when we go to the tree, the tree alleviates those trust issues. And uh, it's becoming a little formulaic right now. Um, also, the, uh, the introduction of said issues can be very uh, I don't know the right word for it, so I'll just say that uh, it, it, they're not done at the right time. Specifically, this one is being done at a very poor opportunity. Uh, wait, I wish to see it too. So now you're interested too. Why? 
I want to make sure that you drop this if Eris is proven innocent. Let this be the end of it, Kale. Oh, really? We'll see about that. Then, come on, you have to join us. You three go on, I'm fine right here. Why not? Uh, we all have to see the truth, this is important. Leave him be, if he wants to hide from the ugly truth, I don't care. Kale, leave Finn alone, he has nothing to do with this. Then tell him to man up and face the truth. Shut up, fine, I'll do it. You can start now, Eris. Mr. Kale, please don't fight it. I need your full cooperation in order to link my past with yours. Quit jabbering, just get on with it. Alright, I'm going to try to draw the picture as vividly as I can. Be ready. Yep. We knew it. Do we have a new sound? Is it not sword fighting? Is it, uh... Baby noises? They, uh, they ended, though, so... Alright. Uh, Eris, my baby, don't cry. You're gonna have a brother soon. Uh, he'll be the one taking care of you while I'm away traveling to the Crimson Canyon. You won't be alone anymore, my little daughter. Your brother will protect you while I'm out, uh, out there. There, there he is. Uh, take a look at your little brother, Eris. Look how hard he's kicking his legs. Oh, my son. Uh, looks like uh, you're healthy as an ox. Come on, I'll take you home. Whoever you are, show yourself right now. What the heck do you think you're doing in there? Oh, no, no, the Watcher. Don't even think about running away from me. Darn. Uh, it's gone, but I can't, uh, but I can't leave it. I have to get away from her. I can't let her get to me. <clears throat> oh no, no, my son. I can't get to him, no. I have to go back and get him. Whoever you are, you won't escape me. No, she is close. I'm sorry, Eris. I can't be caught. I must leave. Forgive me, Eris. I have failed your brother. Darn, it got away. I didn't even get a good look at it. I should get, uh, I should get back. I've gone out too far already. What's that? Impossible. Do you folks hear that? A baby here near Phineas? Could be a ghost. Strange things used to happen around Phineas, you know. Be careful, sir. It might attack you. Arvine. I feel like that was one of the... The... Those excavation guys. The name starts with an A. I forget. But it was... I want to say, ah, I'm not going to say that, actually. <laughs> um, I, I know, but what if it's a real baby? It can't be. Who would leave a baby in this place? That's what I'm about to find out. Please, sir, don't go near Phineas. It's too dangerous. We shouldn't risk it. You, uh, you can leave now, but I just can't walk away if there's a real baby out there. Uh, we won't leave you out, uh, out here alone. Then come with me. All right, just be careful, sir. I'm sorry. That's as far as I can go. Eris, hurry. Take it. Thank you, Miss Arya. You okay now, Eris? Much better. Thank you. So it was your father, Eris. He was the one. I'm sorry, Kale. Uh, but I, I swear my father never told me anything about this. I'm not lying to you. How the heck did you not know about this? He's your father. Kale, please believe me. The only thing I know is my mother died when she was giving birth to me. And my father, he once told me that, that he wished there was uh, someone to look after me while he was retrieving Minkadu. But I swear in the name of Lear, I never knew my father did this. I'm so sorry, Kale. So what? You think I should just forgive and forget? You think I can just accept that the person who brought me to this world was a cursed Norn? Kale, stop it. You've gone too far already. I'm stating a fact. You should have remembered uh, what Lady Scotia said. Only the cursed Norns ever dared to corrupt the Cord de Denny uh, like that. And your father was one of them, Eris. No, it's not true. My father was a good man. There's no way he was a cursed Norn. Then explain it to me. Why would a good man ever use the Cord de Denny uh, for such a despicable thing, huh? I don't know. Maybe he had no choice. Maybe he had uh, no one else to turn to. Kale, stop it. We all know why he did it. 
Uh, we just heard Master Ghetto say it himself. Are you going to keep blaming Eris for this? Even when your sole reason for being brought, in, brought to this world was so that she never had to be alone again. Eris, it's okay. Your father might have made some mistakes in the past, but I'm sure that in the end he repented. He reflected on his mistakes, for I saw no evil in him. I am certain that he died a good man. You, you knew about this, didn't you? How did you know? You knew about it all along? Since when? Since Crimson Canyon? But why? Why didn't you say anything to us? Please, we should stop dragging Master Ghetto into this. He's at peace now. Why did you keep this to yourself, Finn? This... this is my father, Finn, the person who saved you. Uh, I'm so sorry, but I, I didn't mean to hide anything. Wasn't even sure until Eris showed us the past. Why would you... why would you even say any of this? Arya... what? That means you didn't even know! You just made a conclusion right now! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I know the name was different, although you don't remember what it was. Okay, okay. Uh, Arya, please listen to me. While we were in Crimson Canyon, I remembered that Master Ghetto gave me Minkatu in instead of using a healing arth on me. Eris' father couldn't heal you because he was corrupted. You knew all this time. No, no, I don't want to hear this anymore. Please, please stop it. Eris, Eris, it's all right. Please calm down. Your father was a good man. We all know it. Eris, I'm so sorry. Kale, please. I know this is rough, but learning this about her father is traumatic for Eris as well. All these things happened uh, when she was just a little baby. She has nothing to do with this, so please, I beg you, let it go. Let it go? How can I let it go knowing that Eris and her father are the ones who forced me into this miserable life? Miserable? What the heck are you talking about? You're one of the fate bound. We were brought together by fate itself. Don't forget that. Your life, your life is far from miserable. Don't you see? You're destined for something so much greater. That's bullcrap and you know it. Fate has just been toying with me all this time. Even the prophecy doesn't give a darn about me. None of you give a darn about me either. And this fate bound thing is nothing but a pack of lies. And I thought uh, that you were my friends. I've never had any real friends, not even you guys. You're all nothing but a bunch of liars. Get a hold of yourself, Kale. You're starting to lose it. Just stop it. Stop talking like your life isn't worth living. There's always a reason to be thankful, no matter who you are. Thankful? So you know how it feels to be nothing more than somebody else's shadow, huh? To be a freak. I may not be a shadow, but look at me. People flee at the sight, uh, at the sight of me. Of course I know what it's like to be a freak. People see me as a beast. Do you think that makes me feel good about myself? Do you? At least your weirdness isn't that obvious. But what about me? I can't hide mine. I'm stuck looking like this for the rest of my life. And why are you still acting like you're all alone in this world? You have a father that has loved you your entire life. You saw it yourself. Do you even know what it's like to have your father killed by your own brother? Uh, have you got any idea what it feels like when your brothers would rather kill uh, than care for one another? I've got no one. No one but you, Arya, Eris, and Mr. Azam. You're my family now. Take a look around you, Kale. You still have people who care for you, and people who need you to care for them. Just forget it, okay? I don't want to talk about it anymore, so just leave it alone. Yes, yes, I'm sorry, and thank you, Kale. Knowing you're still with us is enough, Kale. Thank you. Well, let's get going. We still have to find an army. Always so stubborn. You know him. That's Kale for you. Are you sure, Finn? Do you think things between Kale and me are going to be alright? Don't worry, Eris. We have to give him space. I thank you, Finn. And you too, Miss Arya. Truly. We've got to stick together somehow. There are only four of us left. Right, come on. We better catch up to Kale. And magically, he just forgives. Because that's what we do. I don't think we got any new recipes. That is a nope. Alright, so let's save. Go to the journal. Go back to the Crimson Canyon and locate the additional troops. 
Um, I want to go to Dumville first. This is, that's a little expensive. Oh, what are you doing here? Uh, whatever you're going to do next, just please stay alive. It's your intentions and good deeds that count. Why is there a thief in here? Why is nobody doing anything about it? Alright, I want to look for that one guy that we recruited. Do I need HP? I don't, but we could use some, uh, some AP. $900 uh, rest right here. Actually, it's going to be more than that because i got to fly back. Oh, good thing I went up here. Hello, Mr. Will. Fancy uh, meeting here of, uh, out of all the places. Uh, is it time for our usual chat? I like your thirst for knowledge, Finn, but I'm not here to answer your questions this time. Isn't that why we keep running into each other? I thought maybe you were a guide for me. You are truly an interesting fellow, Finn. Most people out there have lost interest in Legrand's current state and affairs. However, you haven't. Why is that? I just find it frustrating to live in a place I know so little about. I've traveled to so many places, but I still feel like there's much I haven't seen yet. You seem to always find beauty amidst, uh, amidst the chaos, a very rare trait. The beauty of the world is a matter of perspective. I said that to Master Ghetto once. That's a very interesting outlook on life. So, what did you discover on your journey? Death is around every corner I visited. Uh, however, I see that most people are fighting to protect something dear to them. Their family, kingdom, honor, or simply just to survive. Uh, he spelled survive wrong. Uh, and they fight tooth and nail to end, uh, to the end of the line. Why do you think people uh, go so far protecting something or someone with their lives? Because they realize uh, there is no there's no other better reason to fight. Why don't we just say there's no better reason to fight? There's no other reason to fight. Something, not both. Uh, when you protect uh, what you're afraid to lose. What is precious to you, you will fight with everything you've got. So, do you think you're strong enough to protect all that is precious to you, Finn? As long as I have my friends, I'm prepared to face anything. And if it turn, uh, and if it turns that I'm not strong enough, I'll have to get stronger. You're willing to fight for all of Legrand. We must all fight for all that's precious to us, for our future, even if the universe is destroyed. A catastrophic chain reaction will occur. If this universe is destroyed, all other linked to it, uh, all the other linked to it. Okay, okay. I there, there's there's a typo there, and that's why I'm getting confused. Uh, all the other linked to it will suffer grave consequences. Not to it, to it. I can tell you everything, Finn. Just let me know when you're ready and I shall reveal the truth of this world to you. I searched far and wide for someone who would be willing to listen and learn. I am confused, Mr. Uwil. I don't... I'll show you a glimpse. What happened? You might be right, Finn. Those people out there no longer have any hope for Legrand. What is this place? It doesn't look like Dumville. This place may be the same place... Uh, we are at just a few moments ago, or it may not, or it may also not be. In fact, there's more than one dimension. There exist many universes, and the Grand is just one of them. They're all connected to each other. If I didn't, if I'm pretty sure I said I suspected Uwil to be Lear, but if I didn't, I'm saying it now. But I'm pretty sure I mentioned that already. Uh, what do you think would happen if Legrand were to perish? You showed me that there's still a glimmer of hope for Legrand. But all I did was ask you questions, common knowledge. It wasn't anything out of the ordinary. Finn, do you really want to save Legrand? That's what I've been trying to do all this time, Mr. Uwil. Yes, I've been watching you closely, Finn. 
I thought perhaps you are the one capable of saving this world. I started believing in you, but I still have my doubts. So I decided to follow you around. It's, uh, it's good that you kept those seven tokens I gave you during our encounters. They represent wisdom, compassion, resolution, knowledge, strength, respect, and righteousness. Tokens? Are you talking about these nuts? <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't I couldn't help but but think about uh about that. Um and if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh you know what I'm talking about. You, yep, yep. Dante knew what I was talking about. Uh, I thought they were useless. Enough idle chatter, Finn. Show me what. Uh, show me you have the metal, and we'll save Legrand. Oh dear. I thought this was just going to be a side quest against Pierce. Is this slash? We're good on that regard. All right, you're gonna defend. choice here. Whole game was a setup for <laughs> D's nuts joke. <laughs> oh man. Uh, there is no way I could beat this guy. Dante, I need you to get to this point in the game and beat this guy so I know what happens. Decided that it would wig out. Yeah, I just did what four thousand damage to him, and yes, this isn't working. This isn't even my final form yet. JK was the achievement I got. Um, I load. Oh, that's before. I want to see what that achievement is. Uh, unlock final form is the achievement I got. I beat chapter seven. I'm in chapter eight. It says it on the screen right there. Okay, so Uwil is a super boss. That's great. All right, but I'm here to look for a very specific person. Hey, a kid. Never guessed uh, you'd be joining us. And here I thought my brothers would never help anyone with all that war stuff ever again. Makes a gesture. You're right. We're here to help stop the war. Thank you, everyone. Makes... Yeah. Are you sure you want to do that? You know sign language, young lady. A little bit. What did he say? He suggested it's time they pass their greatest sword recipe on to you. It's our dream to pass on our best sword recipe to a person we respect. 
we've been keeping this recipe for years because we haven't uh, deemed anyone worthy of it. Until now, that is. Thank you so much. This is a great honor to me. But we don't want to give it to you yet. We need to test your our recipe first. Of course. All right, then. Good answer. What we need is one chrome tana, one heal all, and one mighty half lamb. Uh, once you have the ingredients, just give it to us and we can start making it. Do I have that? Out that request. Excellent work, kid. Wait here while we test the recipe. Cool, I did have it. Nice. What's the matter? I'm sorry, kid, but we don't think the recipe is good enough. Why not? After all that trouble you had to go through collecting all those ingredients, we are sorry. Did something go wrong during the forging? No, it's just the recipe isn't as good as we expected it to be. Well, I don't mind uh, having it even if you don't consider it to be the greatest. You just don't understand, kid. We promised we'd give you the best sword we'd ever made. But you worked so hard to make it. Listen, lad. The reason we craft weapons is to help you achieve your goals. And for a goal as big as yours, we can't be giving you an ordinar ordinary best sword. We must give you better than best. Uh, we know we can, uh, we can make it, uh, but it is not this sword. What? No, we can't do that. What did he say? He's, uh, he said, suggest to them that they try the uh, Claw Moran horn. Besides, no one will ever, ever be able to get a hold of it. How, uh, how about we try looking for it? What? No, lad. Besides, you've already tried to help us with the ingredients before. There's no need for you to do it again. Yes, we sent you to gather material uh, before to test your will. However, this is di a different matter. We can't send you on your, uh, to your death. Uh, Clamoran horn. It's just suicide. Don't worry. I'll make sure we've uh, we've prepared before the fight. Before we fight Clamoran. Uh, we have met him before, so we know what we'll be facing. We have. Yes, we encountered one in Dringer's Keep before. Dringer's Keep. I don't remember that. No means no. We can't ask you to go there. It's way too dangerous. If I can't get a hold of the material by myself, it means that I'm not worthy to take your sword. Besides, didn't uh, Egil uh, say that we must do the work ourselves to get what we want? There's no stopping you, is there? What do you say, my brothers? Should we let him do it? Just promise that you'll come back alive. I promise I will come back alive. Defeat the Clamoran and Dringer's Keep to attain its horn. But what's the Clamoran? Oh, I could just I could just do this. I'd have to do, what did it take me, like 10 minutes for that uh, side quest? Uh, we craft weapons so people can talk about their nuts. <laughs> oh, man. I have to go now. All right, so Homeboy Slice isn't here. Is he here? Don't see him here either. Hey, we got more of these. Uh, none of the stuff. Looks 
interesting, though. I don't really care for any of those rewards. That staff could be good, but I doubt it. Still looking for that one guy. There was a guy I recruited in uh, High Port or whatever it's called. And I just want to see if, like, if he's an actual party member or if he's a war council person thing. The fact that I can't find him makes me believe he's one of the war table dudes. I wonder if I'll be able to beat Uwil. Maybe if I get this legendary sword, I'll have a chance. Okay, so I'm just gonna assume that Is it Ostia that I'm thinking of? I'm just gonna assume that, um... Place I wanna go to... Oh yeah, I do wanna, I do wanna see if there's new, new stuff. I think the Ant Queen is new. I believe that guy is new as well. Yeah, these are these are definitely new. Ooh, these are one rounders. I like that. I fought I fought these guys. These are those uh the rare monsters. Or, not the rare monsters, but like the super monsters or whatever. Okay, that's cool. You like the arena? I think the arena's pretty cool. It's a, it's a nice place to actually get money. Because money doesn't exist in this game. Alright, Ostia, that was the wrong location. If I just chill here, will it zoom out to the entire map? Where's the Dringer's Keep? Does not. Where the heck is the Dringer's Keep? Go to Dunabad. That's Dunabad Cave. Bringers Keep. Oops. Uh, you just check to be sure. Uh, yeah, you're still disappointed about best girl. Where's Dringer's Keep? Dringer's Keep. Dringer, Dringer, Dringer. It must be a place that I haven't been yet. The only thing that makes sense to me.
But it said we already went there. The only thing I can think of is it's a place in the north. Because what I'm thinking, like, El Haran, I don't remember any, any dringers in this particular area. Phineas by Dumville. There's the Belfast Caves. There's the mountains. Dore. Um, I don't think they would give us the side quest right now if we haven't been there, though. Save, but I'm gonna do that. Okay, so can't talk to them about it. Dante, do you know if I've I've been to Dringer's Cave yet? Dringer's Keep? And it must be in the north. The only place that makes sense. The only place that makes sense. our lives. What is that place? Can't quite tell. Smells like the whole canyon is rotting. Sorry, Eris, uh, but this is what the Crimson Canyon looks like. I know this is a war zone, but yuck, the stench. Uh, we'll be st uh, spending quite a long time here, so uh, try to get used to it. Okay? Okay, Al, where are these troops you were talking about? East of the Crimson Canyon. Uh, straight ahead at the crossroads. Let's go. Can we real with you, Axel? You have absolutely no idea where I've been? <laughs> Fair enough. I have no idea where I've been either. Seems like an acid trip with the jump cuts and the editing. It's trying its best, Dante. It's trying its best. say that uh, it's the best or that it's uh, well, let me just say that it's best is priced correctly while on while on sale uh, 
Uh, well, I, I mean, it's definitely worth two dollars for sure. Can't go that. Oh, what is that? is that? Darn it, that creature isn't supposed to be here. I didn't see this the first time I came here. What is that creature, a giant? They used to call it Dumdi, the Crimson Giant. I've heard about it from the troops. They said it's just a dumb troll with an extremely weird habit of collecting fresh corpses. It also collects unsuspecting travelers if it can't find any corpses. Sounds dangerous. We should avoid it. No, our only path uh, leads straight ahead. You sure we can push through? Not much time, not much choice. Look alive to arms. Darn it, Kale. Move now. Pierce and light. Well, we don't have any light. Kirk? Oh, you don't have yours. Uh, this guy probably hits mega hard, so... Play it a little safe. AP Drain. Alright. That's how this is going to be. And then AP drain was a thing. Alright, he doesn't hit that hard. Sure, why don't we do that? For the lulls. Oh my gosh, I... That sucks.
Ooh, that vitality down is not going to be very useful. he doesn't do another super attack. Uh-oh. Exchange? It looked like that redistributed HP. Did that move us? No. Uh, he still has his buffs, so... Looks like he just redistributed HP, which was really good for me. Well, thank you, friend. Ooh, big damage. Random amount of big damage. Uh oh, is that my AP? Yep. What a jerk. Just vitality down, so get that back. Regen is still there. Nice. Go ahead and drop a regular heal on you. Oh my gosh. Glad I dropped a regular heal on him. Should be able to kill him right here. Give me a perfect. All right. Was a little close. Okay. This is bewilder. Ooh. Requires agility sixty. All right, we're pumping points into agility. Wait, we're gonna we're gonna go like that. Um, I do kind of want that. Strength fifty five, intelligence. We need some intelligence to get that. And uh, I don't think overpower is gonna be very useful for me. We'll go ahead and do that. And you, you get mend. But you require 50 luck for that? That's, uh, that's investment I'm not ready to make here. Maybe we'll use some of our item thingies on, on her for luck. Uh, this creature might be slow-witted, but it's uh, but it's super strong. I'm just glad that's over. Hey, where are you going now? This way, over here, we're close. Where does it actually lead? Stop asking, start following. Okay, so...
So you need one intelligence thing. We'll just do this one at a time. Okay. It said bloodlust upgraded, but it's it wasn't called bloodlust. It was called something else. Okay. And then luck up. You need 50 luck. Okay. And uh, I'm not working on anything. Oh yeah, I was working on that. That requires 60 agility. That that's looking a little bit better. I I don't like the forty percent HP loss there, but uh, looking a little bit better. Let's see. On a sixty percent, it's gonna be good. Okay, so that's at 15% now. Long meditation. And greater science is at 65%. Oh! When did she get holy abilities? Oh, man. Oh, man. Alright, so we're dealing with 400... Look at the interrupt chance on this. It's a, it's an attack all with a 50% interrupt. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need Holy Beam. get rid of that now the question is do I do holy judgment probably not I like having two damage sources although maybe maybe instead I do holy judgment instead of holy beam like I'm okay well, maybe I don't need two damage sources. I can always swap her out. But having two damage sources is is nice. And honestly, like, the interrupt chance, what am I ever going to go for the interrupt chance? I'm sure bosses have interrupt resistance or something like that. So, who knows? Uh... God, you got to replay the StarCraft 2 campaign? Hey, Mr. Shishu. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. What's the best thing that happened to you today? Okay, okay it's that one. We'll use these points. Save. You ate spaghetti. Hey, I've been eating uh, quite a bit of that. I got the achievement. There's always this type in every game. And the achievement picture is of that monster, so I guess that's it. The Den of Thieves. StarCraft is just one of those RTS games. You don't mind watching the cutscenes again? StarCraft is pretty good. Um, I've been having spaghetti lately as well, um, mostly because it's cheap and two boxes of spaghetti makes like 
four to five meals or three to five meals so it's, it's pretty good you know get a little bit of sauce you know and you you get the the parmesan cheese you know you got to put like i i put a lot of parmesan cheese on my spaghetti um like at least a quarter of the thing it's 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 a lot but it tastes so good uh this place it shouldn't exist i've never seen anything like it on the map that's why it's the perfect place for their hideout yes but there shouldn't be anything here the people that live here want to keep this place uncharted. It's safer that way. What do you mean by safer? What is this place? I don't think it has a name, but the Cypher Union calls it home. The Cypher Union? So this place is a den of thieves. The Cypher what? Thieves, that's a little harsh. These guys strive for the welfare of the land and its people, minus the politics unlike you bannermen. Uh, they've been working to free the people from the shackles of the Northern Kingdoms and the deathly grip of their war. You're one of them, aren't you? That's why you hate Bannermen. Let's say I was a proud member before I left for Phineas. If this is your idea of an army, I strongly object. And where else are you going to find additional support? No one else is willing to help our cause but them. No, no, and no. No outlaws will be joining us, Kale. Outlaws? Don't be ridiculous. Since when is living like free men against the law? These are, uh, these are the people who refuse to live under any banners. We are free folk, freedom fighters. Oh man, his, his leader is totally going to be named Jet. I know who these people are, Kale. They're raiders, pillagers, and marauders. These people are too dangerous. That's what they tell little boys and girls at bedtime to scare them. But the truth is that they're the ones who strive to end the war. You can say anything you want, Finn but you know nothing about their ideals. They're doing this to help people build a better life. They help war orphans find new homes. You think the Northern Kingdoms give a darn about them? These people have been taking care of the mess created by this endless conflict. Of course, the kingdoms label us as rebels and thieves. Now, if you still want, to support, uh, if you still want support, then you don't have a lot of choice. Uh, just follow my lead. Uh, darn it, I don't like this one bit. Neither do I, but Kale seems to know what he's doing. Yes, he seems so sure about what he just said. If it's true, I think we should go along with it. He has led, uh, led us all the way here already. Plus, tomatoes are usually pretty cheap uh, for great homemade sauce. I actually, I buy the, the, the sauce. It is a little expensive, for sure. Um, but when you think about it, like, or when I think about it, uh, it's it's about one one bottle is about three servings of spaghetti for me, and so uh, control. There you go. Um, so like, if one bottle is about five bucks, you know, you split that times uh, divided by three, and then you know the spaghetti like two boxes creates that much. A box is about a dollar, so you got seven dollars split across. Uh, three meals right there and the spaghetti actually does give you more than three meals if you know you don't eat as much as I do so it it, it kind of works out you know oh the young and reckless kale has returned where do you think you're going your royal highness kale what is this tell them to back off kale we don't want any trouble here but trouble is what you get when you just stroll in here like that, Red Prince. Kale, please. This is definitely not what we came here for. Be quiet and just do as I say. What the heck were you thinking, Kale? We worked so hard to hide this place from any bannermen. And now you bring the Altaian Prince and the Fandorian Princess in here. Have you lost your mind? Shows how much you know, uh, Soren. They're here under my custody. What? You're selling us out, Kale? Kale, you cunning... Uh, shut up. You will only speak when you're told. I swear you're going to regret this, Kale. You're the one who will regret it if you don't play nice. Don't make me for a fool, Kale. They don't sound like hostages. What the heck is this? Obviously, I lured them here to be caught. That's all you need to know, Soren. Now get out of my way. I'll bring them to the chief myself. Not so fast. You can meet the, meet the chief upstairs, but the royal scum comes with me. You don't hear so well, do you, Soren? I told you... Uh, that I am the one taking them to him. Now step aside. Or what? Or I'll show you what I've learned since we last met. 
Always playing tough, huh? Come on, let's see what you got. Thorn, step away. The chief wants to see Kale in person. Ah, but the chief didn't say anything about the, the prince or the princess. You're about to discover what the chief does to men who run away, Kale. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. Guards, remove all weapons from the hostages, then bring them along. 